Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the next speaker on stage, Abu Anwar MD Abdullah, Google Developer Expert on Flutter and Dot. Thank you guys for inviting me. I'm glad to be here. So before I started, let me ask you a simple question. How many of you guys already familiar with Flutter? Just raise your hand. Okay, oh, oh that's great. I see a lot of hands. Thank you, thank you so much. Now, this one is for everyone. Let's imagine we have a lot of money. We all are rich here, okay? We all are rich, we have a lot of money to spend. Now we are going to spend that money. We are going to a BMW showroom and we are going to buy a BMW car. Okay, now we have a lot of money and a car, BMW car. So once you buy a BMW car, they suggest you to download an app called My BMW, which allow you to control your app through this through this My BMW apps. Control your car through this BMW app. The most interesting part is here, this app is built using Flutter. Not just BMW, Google, eBay, Alibaba using Flutter for building their apps. Now, if you don't know what is Flutter, Flutter is a free and open source UI development kit created by Google. It helps developers to create create cross-platform application from a single code base. What does it mean by cross-platform application? Like if you want to build an app for Android or iOS, you can do that using Flutter, not just that. If you need a website or web app, you can do that using Flutter. It's not end here. Let's say if you want the app for your desktop, maybe it's a Mac, Windows, or even Linux, you can do that using Flutter. So if you are a Android developer or a Flutter developer, then you are really familiar with this material design here. Yeah, they are good, but right now we are end of 2022. So it's pretty common to have UI such like this. I hope you like this UI and animation. Let's see. Okay, now one thing maybe come to your mind. You have to be a pro Max developer to build such app, such thing, isn't it? Or maybe you have to be a ultra pro Max to do that. You know, I take ultra from Samsung, their best brand, you know, Samsung Ultra, and pro Max for iPhone. So you have to be best of best to do such thing. But, you know, at least in case, in Flutter, I don't, thing. That's the case. So today I'll, you know, beautiful experience and great UI doesn't happen by themselves, okay? But that doesn't mean they have to be difficult. That's why today I'll explain and how expert apply simple and straightforward uh, tips to make well-built and great looking app in Flutter. Okay. Oh, let me introduce myself. My name is Abu Anwar MD Abdullah. I'm a YouTuber. My channel called The Flutter Way, which is the second most followed YouTube channel globally for Flutter. Also, I'm a Google developer expert for Flutter and Dirt. So what we are gonna build? We're gonna build a food delivery app. And at, before we start, we, we need some visualization what we are gonna do. This is the starting page of our app, or you can say it's the onboarding screen or welcome screen. Then this is the sign up screen, or, and this is the login screen, sign in screen, and this is the heart of our app, which is the home page. So let's start building. We start with the onboarding or starting screen. So how can we do that on Flutter? If you do try to build this in Flutter, inside a column, you need an image, then a text for this 
title, another text for this description. At the end, you need to place a button, okay? But once you do that in Flutter, it looks like that. Yeah, you know, it's pretty similar what we really want, but not exactly what we have. So how we style our text, this, uh, this is what we did. We add the text and add the styling to our title text. It's okay to add font size 22 and font width W600. It means font width medium. But on Flutter, you can do another thing. It's called text theme. Flutter comes with a text theme. So how, what is really text theme? It gives you default lot of styling that you can use. If you really need a big text on your app, you can use display large. Or if you need a small, like caption, you can use the body small or one at the bottom. But we are really interested in title large, where the, as you can see, the font size is 22 and font width is medium that we're using. So let's replace our text style with this text theme. So once we replace the text style with our text theme, there's no changes visually, but it reduces few lines of code. Also another benefit, let's say if you're working with a big company, a lot of you guys are working on the same app. So you have consistency, like, for title, you are using 22, maybe other developer using 24. That can happen, or maybe they say, told you, that, hey, use always 22 font size to, for title, but somehow you forget that and use 24 instead of, so if you use those for text team, then it's consistent and also it's reduced a lot of line of code. Now come to the button. This is not what we really wanted in our app. So let's add style to our button. Okay, what I add here, I add a background color and uh, define a minimum size so that it takes the maximum available space, also say it a fixed height and say the elevation to zero, it means there is no shadow on my button. It's okay, okay, this is what we really wanted. But there is a problem. In our whole app, we need to place this button for a couple of times. Maybe if you are developing a big app, maybe you need this. We need that button to place for like 20 or 30 plus places. So what do you think? Is it a good idea to copy this style and paste every time you need a button? Obviously not. So how can we solve that issue in Flutter? It's pretty simple. Flutter comes with a theme and we can define our theme. It's called, uh, so for our elevated button, we define the elevated button and copy the style and paste it here. That's nothing else. So now let's check out our button. So we just define the elevated button, no style, just our text and it looks like that. This is what we wanted. So each time you just define your button, it looks like that. Problem solved. In near future, like after two years, if you really want to change the button color, green to red, you just go to the theme and change it to red. That's, that's it you need to do. Okay, now come to the sign up screen. Okay, can you, is there anyone find a bug on this, on this image? Is there anyone? Just raise your hand. Is there anyone find any problem on this image? Anyone? I don't see that much hand. Okay, actually there is a, as it said forget password at the top <laughs> on a sign up screen. Sorry, it's just a mis mistake. Okay, so how can we do that? You know, we know the text stuff, how we can add text, and but we also fix the button problem. Now come to how we add those text fields. So to add those text fields on Flutter, inside a form, you need to define your, uh, the text field. We need four text fields here. One for the full name, another one is for the email, password, and at the end I add extra one for confirm password because it's a sign up form. So once you add your text field here, it looks like that by default. So this is not what we really wanted. We want to change it. So let's, how we change it? We add the styling to our text field. So let's add a style. What I just did, I set it is field to true, 
apply the fill color and add the border radius. Now this what we, we got what we wanted, as you can see on the first name. This the, we have got the fill or look. But once you try to oh, try something, it looks like that. And this wh why it, it shows this border? Because in Flutter we have four stage for a text fill. Number one is enable stage. Another one is focus stage. Now our text field is focus stage. Yeah, we are still, right? We are trying to write something. Then there is a focus disable stage, and another one is error stage. So we can design each stage as we want it. But for our focus stage, we want the same style. So let's add those border, this border to our focus style. Okay, I just copy this piece of line code that I use enable border and paste it here. But it creates a new problem. What's the problem? We duplicate our code here. We have the same code for focus border, focus border, and the enable border. So how can we solve that? The solution is also simple. Just we define a variable and we put it there and we use the variable. Okay, now we reduce a lot of line of code and we got the same result. So, but still there is another problem. Let's say we have four fields in this text field. So if we want to want the same result, four of them, then we copy the, this style and paste each of them. And this also not a good idea to do that. So how can we solve this? The solution is simple as like we use in our button. We just apply those, those in theme data back to our theme. I'm just uh, copy those style and paste it on our input decoration theme. So now look at the text field. I'm not doing anything on other text field. By default, there are all of them are changing. So in our app, if we use the, anywhere we use text field, we just get this UI or this design automatically. Now it's our by default. So look at this whole form. It just takes few lines of code to code this whole for text field. As you can see, just for, for example, like full name, it just takes two lines, just on save and just add the hint text here. Yeah, I'm not adding any validation, other kind of stuff for the simple simplicity. Okay, now come to the heart of our app, which is the home screen. Actually, it's at the starting of the screen is an image slider, a simple image slider. We are, we are really interested in this feature partner or this card. You know, it, it, this card is for restaurant. It shows an image, then restaurant title, restaurant address, at the end rating and other kind of stuff. So if you want to build this curve on Flutter, inside a column you need an image, then a text for your restaurant name, at the end text for your restaurant address. In, then inside a row, you, you, we are gonna place our rating, text, how much time, for how much time it takes to deliver at the end, the delivery type. Is it a free or paid? You have to pay for the delivery. So we made it. That's okay, we got, let's say we made it, we got the UI design, but in our whole app, we need, maybe, we need to use couple of time. Even we need it again, as you can see, there is a horizontal, another one, the halal guys, and so another card, similar like this one. So what we really want? You want to copy the same line of code for that one also? No, so how can we solve this problem? instead of copying the whole thing for each one. Maybe in details page, we have a related restaurant where we show this card. So how can we solve it? Mm, yeah, we, even we can, we don't able to use it on theme data. There is nothing we can use on theme data. So how can we really solve that problem? In Flutter, if you are a Flutter developer, then you already know in Flutter, everything is a wizard. So, it's also it's pretty easy to create your own wizard. Let's create our own wizard. And what I did here, I call it restaurant info card. 
and it requires some parameter because for restaurant we need image, the student name, restaurant location, and the obviously the rating is important, delivery time, and at the end on tap. It's for once the user interact with this card or once the user press this card, how we'll interact. Look at the column at down. I don't know if it's visible, it's here. Look at the column. We have our previous code column here. Inside the column we have image text, other kind of stuff. So now we are create our own widget. So how can we, we use it? It's like a, a sort of like class or function, just we need to define it and pass our pass those parameter and we are done done. So now in your whole app, if you want to to reuse this or use the same card, you can just just call our restaurant info card with it and use it and you are ready to go. Or in near future, if you really want to edit or change something on your card, just go to your wizard and edit it. And if you guys are really interested to learn how to create those, okay, I should, okay. How to create the whole UI, homepage UI, you can go to this URL or scan this code so that uh, you can learn how I create this whole page, whole design. Okay, I think intro is done. Let's take a picture or you can scan it. Okay, do you guys have any question for me? Just raise your hand if you guys have. You can ask me anything like, yeah, uh, or how to become a GDE, or uh, if you want, in, let's say, React Native or Flutter. Any question? No one? Really? No problem. It's, you know it's pretty dark enough so no one gonna see you. You can ask question, no problem. Go ahead. Is there anyone raising their hand? Okay, now I'll raise your hand. How many of you guys really want to learn Flutter after this session? Just raise your hand if you Okay, 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 yeah. Lot of hands now. Now I can see your faces. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. And by the way, after the session, you are not rich again. You just brought the BMW and you are full again. And if you guys really want to learn Flutter, you can go to flutter.dev for more. And you can even check my channel if you want to really learn, uh, see my work on YouTube. Also, if you want to reach out to me, you can email me at abuanwar072 at gmail.com or you can find me at LinkedIn at abuanwar072 or just scan this QR code. It should show you my LinkedIn profile. Thank you guys. Hope you learned something new and interesting. Thank you so much, Mr. Abu Anwar, for that amazing session. And I would like to ask you to remain on stage. I would like to call upon Udaya Gonatilaka, former GDG Sri Lanka lead, to give away the token of appreciation for Mr. Abu Anwar. <laughs> 